the fuck is that? People are afraid of greatness, which means people are afraid of me. I hate this channel. No! No! back in my room i forgot that i had laundry to do so i'm gonna have to do laundry collect my clothes just kind of clean my room up a little bit because it's not messy but it's not as clean as i want it to be yeah i'm so happy to be back because i have no idea and all my posts has been piling up so expect a haul to come like in the next couple weeks because I bought so much clothes, why not? I'm wearing a bodysuit, by the way, with all of my side boob out. I don't know if it's legal for me to wear all these things, but I'm gonna open what I have already, and you guys can see. I ordered these big teddy bear slippers from um, AliExpress. Look at them, they're so big and obnoxious, holy shit. Look at it. It's so fucking comfortable, holy fuck. It's so comfortable, but um it's not as padded like on the foot as i want it to be the next thing i ordered it's not one of those. oh this top it's just a crop top this is really nice and it's thick damn aliexpress you up in it like that i'm gonna go and go to do some laundry and pick up my post see you when i get back Sneak peek of the haul. I'm doing some laundry, packing up my clothes. Um, my room's pretty clean now. Um, don't look over there, but yeah, we finished. Hey guys, I look a little weird. Um, so it's now been like a day since I got back from uni and I just finished filming the haul video. This is what my room looks like after I film. It's a big fucking mess. So I'm gonna clean and attempt to film two more videos before I go to bed. just come back from being out i went to sainsbury's really quick just to grab some quick things i went with tegan i didn't film it because it's windy as hell and it does not feel comfortable filming right now while it's while while it's windy as shit today i started my cycle and so that means that I am not in the best of moods. I'm also wearing the sweatshirt from my haul, which I think you're gonna see the haul before you see this video, just because the vlogs take a little bit longer to edit. Yeah, I was really productive yesterday and I filmed hella videos, so you guys will get those. I'm in so much pain right now that I'm gonna spend most of today cleaning and in bed. I need to clean because obviously I filmed and I had makeup on. So I was wearing makeup and my bathroom is technically clean but as you can see that that right there's makeup so I need to clean that makeup up because this ain't cute but this is how it looks after I do my makeup and I want to put some clothes up on Depop because I have a lot of clothes here and I don't wear it all so if you want some of my Depop clothes my Depop will be linked down below you're more than welcome to help yourself out to my clothes on Depop if you see any that you like I'm about to go have a nap and then I'll pick you guys back up for my next lecture. Okay, so this that's the second part of the I have break. food. But as mentioned, I want to begin with a I'm currently on a break and 
I don't have an issue with online learning. I think it's really good if you are someone who is an independent learner like me. Like I can learn from home, but I've learned how to study in my room and how to study in common. And I'm more comfortable doing that instead of me being in my house house, like in London, because I'm used to just going there on my off time and sleeping and stuff like that. So if you're not an independent learner, online learning is gonna suck for you. But for me, it's absolutely fine. The workload piles up, but it piles up because you don't understand the full gravity of what you're doing. Like my workload, I've just realized is so much and I've just been doing little bits here and there. And now I kind of realize if I want to not be one of those last minute people, I kind of need to like start attacking my shit now. But I don't have an issue with online learning. We get frequent break. My lecturers, all of them are very patient and they'll stop and say, hey, do you have any questions? If you're paying attention, there you go. You can rewatch the lectures. So I'm fine with this, but I don't think I would be fine with this forever. And I don't know if I would say this is £9,000 worth of education. I feel like this is probably a half. At least seven. There's no way you're going to tell me this is a whole nine. And there are people who are at home who can't use the facilities that we're paying for. That doesn't sound fair. Considering that there are people who've dropped out of uni who had the full university experience. There's no way they can expect us to just have great mental health and still be on top of all our shit. Keep in mind, you're not allowed to have guests. And I know people would be like, well, duh, it's COVID. But if I go outside and I go to a shop and I come back, it's the same as me bringing a stranger in the house. It's literally the same. Like, imagine you go out, me, I have 10 flatmates, well, nine flatmates. If all of us go our separate ways in a day, I go shopping, someone else goes shopping or... If I go for a walk and I pick up COVID and I bring it back, it's the same outcome as if I brought a stranger in. If a stranger has a COVID test or the vaccine, why should they not be allowed to come over? Like imagine, you're basically paying for, paying for an expensive prison cell. You can't have people over. You're literally isolated and you're driving yourself crazy. I think they thought it they thought about it very lightly and they didn't really think about it in depth because you're here for a large amount of time, especially if you're an international student, you're here by yourself and we can't go to parties and i understand that you can't mesh you can't vibe you can't but what the fuck do you expect us to do like what do you want us to do and i don't want anyone to be like oh but you knew you were gonna get this when you came to uni i'm paying full-blown rent i'm paying rent i'm paying tuition i'm not complaining about me having to study so why is it that the room that belongs to me i can't use i don't want to have a party but it would be nice to have family, my friends over, people over, like the comfort that you need to have as a person, you can't have now. And it sucks. I'm so used to being by myself, but this is a whole new level by yourself. Most of my flatmates are at home. So it's like me and like a few of the girls. So it's us and all of us are doing online learning. So we're all put in our rooms, we'll go to our rooms, learn, and then we come back together and that's it. That's literally it. And I mean, thank God I have my flatmates. Otherwise, I'd probably just drive myself crazy. Like, this is prison. This is a, like a detention centre. An expensive detention centre. Like, this ain't cheap. Like, I would pay to have someone visit me. That's how isolating this feels. My family can't come up and visit me because where are they going to stay? My friends can't come and visit me because where are they going to stay? And I'm not going to have my friends come up and pay for a hotel when they could simply sleep with me in the bed or, you know we could all be in the room like we can't even do that but yeah that's me for today i have to write a long ass list and actually tackle this because it's not going to be cute if i don't get this shit done watch it's going to be a vlog me doing everything last minute i'm not coming at the unis but sort it out sort it out i'm not saying this because i want people to come over so badly but you can't expect all of us to not have any experience and be normal like at least offer us free therapy or something like we're just sitting here frothing at the mouth because we can't go nowhere you can't be around people even the people who are on campus we can't be around each other i understand how volatile and how crazy covid spread but co what you're gonna you're not gonna keep our money and tell me to stay home but take my money and tell me i can't have people over like this doesn't make any sense i'm paying for this space and i can't use it to how i want to use it it's just driving me mad now maybe i'm sensitive because it's that time of the month but it's just like did you think it through i can't have people over but i'm sharing a kitchen with 10 people nine people like it feels like we're trapped in this cycle and it's never gonna end anyway back to my lecture if you can't tell which you should be able to tell just based on how rough i look i've started my cycle and so i'm gonna put on a face mask ah the issue of having beads in your hair i'm gonna put on a face mask and freshen up my looks because there's no reason why i a young girl should look like i've been beaten up 
no reason at all i have this face mask from the body shop this face mask right here um i wrote a list of everything i need to do because i have i'm in semester two so i have my final assessments so i'm gonna do those like today i wrote the list and then i'm gonna start my reading and stuff tomorrow i might go to commons and study a little bit you know attempting to get my life together because covid can't possibly go on forever at some point i'm going to be held accountable for everything i said i was going to do that covid has prevented me from doing that's so scary to imagine like soon we're going to be out of this pandemic and everyone who's like oh i can't do this because there's a pandemic oh my god the pandemic's holding me back once the pandemic's over what's your excuse no no what's your excuse like i feel like if i was ever going to be productive covid and me sitting at home would have done it don't know why i kept my glasses on like i can't see from here once covid is over you're gonna have no excuse for not doing what you said you were gonna do and so if you put yourself in the headspace of doing these things while you're in a pandemic when you finish, when this pandemic is over, you're not even going to notice. You're literally going to slip back into work mode and be back on your shit. And that's what I'm trying to do. Be on my shit now. So when the pandemic's over, I can say, you know what? I worked through the pandemic. Well, I worked in the pandemic. And now, look at what I've produced. Like, even my new intro. Like, I, it took me so long to finally pu push myself to... Um, to learn how to use a green screen, how to use iMovie, how to get those sounds that I wanted, the look I wanted, to get more comfortable around the camera. Because if you can tell in my earlier videos, I won't say I was shy, but like, I didn't want to be that loud bitch on YouTube, but <laughs> loud bitches getting money. To continue my nighttime routine, I washed the face mask off my face. You can see that there's a little bit of white spots but don't worry about that because i've got some rose water I, I use regular ass rose water on my skin because you do not need to buy fancy rose water i'm telling you it works the same in the next coming videos watch my skin drastically improve because that rose water works miracles and it gets off any makeup you had on because i had on makeup earlier today because i went out and the way this one looks looks like i got bit i bought this this turmeric moisturizer from the inky list while i was shopping from asos if you've ever put on turmeric like as a face mask you know it smells like cupboard dust however does it work miracles yes it does so i'm trying it out to see what it does if it works i'm giving it two weeks a week and a half to see if i'm glowing if i'm not glowing it's going in the bin I try not to put on hella shit on my face and I call it a night. I always put on perfume, sorry. Being told I smell nice is my guilty pleasure. <laughs> and that's it. I already moisturized my skin. So that's it for my skincare routine for right now. And I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. Pick you guys up tomorrow. Hey guys, um, today is Friday. And um, after my lecture yesterday, he was like, going over our assessment. And I was like, holy shit, I actually have a lot of work to do. Why am I acting like I don't? So I'm going to actually go to Commons to study. There's nothing wrong with studying in my room, but Commons, you literally have to sit there and focus on your work. Whereas when I'm in my room, I'm thinking about cleaning, I'm thinking about eating. So I'm going to do some laundry, have breakfast, then go to Commons. So right now I'm packing my bag to go to Commons. I'm going to pack my laptop, my iPad, because I want to also edit a YouTube video and hopefully have it up by tomorrow. Yeah, also I slit my brows because if you know the OG me, the OG me has slit brows and the new me don't have no slit brows. Let me show you what, what I'm working with. So I have on this misguided sweatshirt. I have on flares and I have on the public desire chunky boots i'm not sure if you're gonna see it in my haul because i didn't really film it properly but yeah it's actually a nice day out it said it was gonna rain so i wasn't gonna go but now that it said it's not gonna rain i'm gonna go um so yeah i'm gonna go pack hey guys so i've been gone for a quick minute so yesterday <laughs> i said i was gonna go study right do you remember this i said i was gonna go study i said i was going to go to the library to study and i was all dressed and i was all cute and i was all ready to go and then i went on social media and i see that sarah everard i hope i'm saying her name right 
her body was found and they arrested this police officer in suspicion of kidnapping and killing her so obviously lots of people are sad and everyone's like yeah this is like the reality of being a woman like you can't just be like you're always in danger and it's pretty much constant fear of the opposite gender no i'm not talking about all the time obviously women can kill women women can commit crimes against women but you're taught basically that you're basically living on this planet as a visitor this is their planet don't rub them the wrong way don't do anything that they don't want you to do or else bad things happen to you and the question is why were you out by yourself why were you walking home alone why were you in why did you go to a party why were you in the room with these guys and it's like why are my actions being questioned when something has happened to me that I did not agree to, you know? Like, why am I being questioned and judged and told, you can't do this, you shouldn't do that, when people are literally being told, if you see a woman and she's doing this, she's free reign, like... <laughs> then everyone finds out about the 97% of women, and everyone is like, no, it's not seven, it's not 97%, no it has to be less than that or people are making jokes and saying come on guys we can up that number blah 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 yada 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 xyz i don't know if, if this is supposed to be a joke like if you think that shit's funny but to me i don't know one girl that's never been sexually harassed assaulted or raped i don't know one i do not know not one that's never been in a position where they have to call me and they're like hey i'm walking home i'm a bit nervous there's this happening please stay on the phone with me or when I go out, I have to text them, make sure my girls get home safe, they make sure I get home safe. Because we know there's a chance that we won't. There's a, there's a high fucking chance we won't get home safe. And why is that? Why is that? Then people saying that the 97% could be lying, the 97% could be doing X, Y, Z. This is my reality. Like, this is the reality of being a woman, unfortunately. You're in a position at all times to be a victim of some man who thinks, I can take advantage of this situation. She was just walking home that's all she was doing she was literally going home she wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary she wasn't dressed sexily and i'm not saying these are reasons why a woman would be but everyone always has those excuses like oh well why were you wearing this why was why can i not put on clothes hmm there is not a section when i go out shopping that says rape section or rape clothing or if you want to get sucked and fucked clothing there's none of that so please keep that comment to yourself it sounds stupid Furthermore, and I'm going to end on this point because I don't want to get heated again because I want to have a nice day. Would you rather be responsible for protecting a potential victim or protecting a potential rapist? Basically, enabling someone who could be a criminal. For, I'm using a rapist as an example, but would you rather protect a potential child molester, a potential sexual assaulter, someone who is comfortable enough in themselves to go out and assault people? You would rather believe that that person wouldn't do that compared to the victim who is saying this happened to me would you rather be like that person would you really rather be that person because i personally would rather apologize for protecting who i think needs protecting aka the potential victim compared to someone who could or couldn't have done it sorry i that's how i sleep at night i don't know how people can sleep at night saying oh but that's my friend for 10 years pardon pardon you're not with that person 24 7 you're really gonna put your neck out on the line to tell me that someone didn't do something that you don't even know they could have done yeah no my conscience don't work like that i was listening to a youtube video and they were saying why is it that people always have to prove that this happened to them like if i was a victim of something why should i have to prove this happened to me why is it always required that someone goes well show me proof how did this happen to you why isn't the person being accused able to produce evidence that they didn't do it? For example, if someone accused me of murder, I should have proof that I didn't murder them, aka where I was, what I was doing at the time, why I wouldn't, you know? That's evidence. So why is it always expected of the victim, of the person who needs support, why are they being accused? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. And I'm not just coming at this time point as a woman, I'm coming at as a human being. If someone told me, hey, this happened, I'm not going to say, well, where's your proof? I'm going to say that's awful. And if I find out the other person who I know is being accused, prove to me you didn't do this. Because at the end of the day, the way the story's looking, it's looking like you did it. The way the story's looking, it's looking like you don't have evidence. A lot of you just enable your homeboys and let people get away with what they want to get away with. And then you want to turn around and say, oh, but I love women, blah, blah, blah. No, you just sleep with women. There's a difference between liking women 
and sleeping with women, protecting women and being sexually involved with women. You can have sex with women and not like them. FYI, if you didn't know. And these, these people get by, these people are allowed to just live amongst us in society. No, they need to be put somewhere else, like in a bin in the middle of the ocean. Like they need to be given serious help. Like that whole situation made me so uncomfortable. It's not even about this being someone that you know. This is a person, this is someone. It doesn't have to be someone that I know for me to feel personally attached to this case. I'm not attached to her case because I'm a female. I'm attached because it's a person. Why should someone not be able to go to their her yard? It's a double-edged sword at this, at this point. It really is. You either agree to their terms and live uncomfortably or you don't agree to their terms and you're killed. Wonderful, yay, oh my gosh. If I get in a cab, I could be killed. If I walk home, I could be killed. If I take public transport, I could be killed. If I go to work, I could be killed. If I stay at home, I could be killed. Where's the freedom? Where is my peace? We're aware that evil people live among us, but there's a big difference between the genders of who can do what to whom and what is taught in society. I'm just throwing it out there. So because I didn't study yesterday, I'm gonna try to study today. guys to explain what i'm doing for my first house for my digital practice um lectures i have to create a blog and then i have to create blog posts on what we learned per lesson and then show the practicals that we did so i've looked at the examples i made notes and i'm going to make some slight changes to the ones i've done already but this is one of the ones i did already and we had to do a digital adventure and i spoke about um how i got into murder mystery mukbang videos it starts off with me looking at food combos over here and then it ends with me being absolutely traumatized with the things that people put in their mouth you know such as live ugh, just people choking on food and ridiculousness but yeah so that's how my blog looks hey guys so it's the next day um i did a bit of studying last night and i'm going to why is this always twist up like what the fuck my necklaces stay twist up i'm having a little downtime i'm gonna play some video games maybe for like 20 minutes and then i'm going to do a bit more studying and we're going to order some wagamamas. My roommate Jasmine is coming back from being at home because today's Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day. And she's going to, we're gonna order wagamamas and then we're gonna play human bowling. And that's the plan for tonight. And then people have in persons tomorrow, so we're not gonna get shit faced, but we're gonna drink. Hey guys, so um, <laughs> I didn't film yesterday, I didn't film us drinking because um we ordered wagon so my friend jasmine was out and i said we we're gonna go get her so we went to go get her and then we went to ragamama's and we ordered some food and then we came back as a fat we all um had ragamama's and we had some drinks then we decided to play some games human bowling um didn't really have the effect we were hoping for but it was fun um we were sat on the stairs and we just chilled i live with a bunch of music students i'm um, commercial music students so they were playing music and just talking this will basically be the end of this vlog i would vlog more but i actually have other things that i want to record and it will be it will pretty much take up the space of the vlog so this was pretty much my first week Thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't that boring. Although it's a uni vlog, a tad bit boring. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Check out my other videos. There are other videos that are there. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Snap out of it.